Just a few years ago, Batroun was a sleepy seaside town on the Lebanese coast. These days, the summer sees thousands of people descend on its winding streets to fill expensive bars and restaurants, many of them newly opened. It's a scene repeated all over the country, even though Lebanon is caught in what the World Bank has called one of the worst economic crises the world has seen in the last 150 years. Jamil Haddad is the owner of Colonel Beach Club and Brewery. If I was a foreigner and I come to Batroun, I wouldn't believe what you can see here. You come here and you see every day a new high-end restaurant is opening, a new uh, bed and breakfast, a new like uh, beach place or whatever. The local currency, the lira, has become so devalued and volatile that the country has gone through a process of informal dollarization. Many families rely on remittances sent from the extensive Lebanese diaspora. Lebanon has the second highest remittances to GDP ratio in the world, and it is around 40%. You spend it on consumption products. You are not going to invest. You cannot invest with remittances. You cannot create jobs with, with remittances. You are going to consume to spend in restaurants and clothes and schools and universities. Those without access to dollars face a starkly different reality. Pascal Sakhar lost her job as a nursing assistant and has struggled to find work since. Her son is in the army, but hyperinflation has reduced his salary to the equivalent of $60 a month, just enough to buy his own food. The people who come from outside, they come to eat, to dine and all of that. They have money, they have dollars. But the Lebanese who are here, they have nothing at all. Even if they work, it's nothing. To a casual observer, everything looks fine in Batroun. But the crowds hide a dangerous trend, the disappearance of Lebanon's middle class. There was a middle class in this country before the crisis. Educated people, employees, good job, living okay life. There are plenty of these people and we used to see them a lot before the crisis. They disappeared from the market because these people, they became poor. Because these people are the ones who save their money in the bank. This summer, the restaurants may be full, but Lebanon's famed ability to party through any crisis is papering over dangerous rifts in the fabric of its society. Jacob Russell for VOA News, Batroun, Lebanon.